Frank Lloyd Wright is an architect that has made a big impact. He believed in organic architecture and fitting in with nature and basically would be an example of uh, green and sustainable design but he lived uh, uh, and did his architectural work in the early 1900s and his designs uh, pass the test of, of time and are beautiful and um, why I'm mentioning this is I am working with a high school instructor and the first day he came into my office he looked behind me and saw a 4 by 4 foot framed uh, print from Taliesin West. Taliesin West is the Frank Lloyd Wright School of Architecture uh, for the winter and it says on it with thanks Taliesin Architects. So I have walked these rooms and helped the architects as they learned CAD for many many years but I've also helped uh, Frank Lloyd Wright's uh, personal physician, Dr. Joseph Rourke, because uh, Dr. Joe also loves graphics and CAD, and uh, he was working on it one time, uh, I, the renderings of the proposed capital for the state of Arizona from uh, Frank Lloyd Wright, which would have been beautiful, and also a video on cantilever design, because uh, he actually loves architecture as well but he was his doctor, his personal physician. It's interesting when you look at the fountains, there's so much influence in Arizona, uh, influential people in Arizona that went to Taliesin West. And uh, one architect came in to visit me when we were having a seminar at our location and he told me trivia about how he rode out to the uh, Taliesin West and uh, when he got there they were having trouble because this battery had fallen out of this car and he got out his welding equipment and f and welded the battery back in and from that Frank Lloyd Wright asked him to do the weld the roofs and make fountains and he said one day uh, Frank Lloyd Wright said you know that fountain you just did and he said yes he said it goes whoop 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 and I would like to have this sound of uh, you know like music as it falls over rock so he ended up changing that out so it would sound like that um, Often, Dr. Joe's car, uh, an old Cadillac, would be in disrepair, and he would ask for a lift into town. And of course, now there's urban encroachment up to the compound, so it's not so isolated. And as we were driving along down to the Cadillac dealer, uh, Dr. Joe would tell me trivia about Frank Lloyd Wright. And one thing that I thought was very, very interesting is that he told me about a Chinese hotel that he built and it went over budget he put a reflection pond in the front of it and everybody was upset with him he says well just wait until the first earthquake hits and this will be the only building standing and you will use the water from this reflection pond to put out the fires and that actually came to pass but his organic look and uh, beautiful uh, building style this uh, Taliesin West is a campus for education but this is the cabaret room and um, but it's built from the stone of the mountain it sits on and it ha this is the first poured cement roof and now I've got a house made out of rastra and it's made out of really uh, kind of cement and so he was a little bit uh, ahead of his time in that manner too as well but uh, Frank Lloyd Wright would often bring back little uh, items from his travels and then you see those items too at Taliesin West. So if you were ever in the Arizona area you would definitely want to stop by and learn about this wonderful uh, great architect. One of his most famous buildings I would say would be um, this one here. Let's see if this one is it. No that's the school, sorry this one which is called Falling Water and you can see the design that he did was timeless this is called cantilevering or cantilevered right here 
and uh, as we go along we'll learn just maybe a little bit more about that in our project. I mentioned all of this only to show you the background and experience that the architect I'm working with comes from. And times are tough here in Arizona, so he took on a teaching job, which is a blessing for the students. And he's doing an addition on a house, which he normally wouldn't be doing, but it's a blessing to these customers as well. Because, or the client, everything that he does is very thoughtful. And it's uh, interesting to sit by his side and uh, show him the software tools as he is working and reworking the designs as we are getting the client's wishes together with other things that we might need to have in this remodel job as well, or this addition as well. So this is uh, just the introductory uh, video. And on the next one, we're going to get down to work. Meanwhile, if you never have heard of Frank Lloyd Wright, he would be a great person to study and a great person to follow for his architectural style.